how did I end up taking so much out of my storage locker? But then also, how do I just have so much in general? Welcome to the mess that I have created for myself. I did this yesterday and then I got completely distracted with making TikToks and shorts. I uploaded like three TikToks and two shorts or something. And I thought I would just come back to it today with a fresh mind and finish decluttering and organizing my entire existence. I have pulled everything out. I have emptied the wardrobe, the drawers. I haven't touched the kitchen yet. I still have a lot of mugs and knives and chopping boards and all that kind of stuff that I will probably get to this afternoon. I have so much bathroom stuff. I have three drawers out of this little drawer thing in the bathroom and there's still products in there and I don't understand where they come from. I said this last year when I was moving and I'll say it again, where do the bathroom products come from? Why do we have so many? And how come we're not using them? I don't know if I'm the only person that's like that, but I just feel like under the sink or bathroom drawers just fill up so quickly. Maybe I need to stop buying things when I go to Sephora or the pharmacy, or you see something and you're like, I will use that. And then you use it like once and then it's, you know, you never use it again. Anyway, <laughs> totally off track there. Yesterday when I was doing all of this, I started by dividing everything into different categories. So I folded up all of my clothes into three different piles, the stuff that I'm definitely taking with me in my suitcase, the stuff that will definitely go back into my storage locker, and then an undecided pile that I will have to sort through. I put everything into an electronics pile, like camera equipment, cords, all that kind of stuff. I also did books, stationery, art supplies. I have shoes, accessories, and I think that might be it. I need to really do the bathroom stuff. I just don't know at what point I'm gonna do that. I think before I do anything, I'm going to jump up and make a pile of stuff that I 100% want to take with me. And then I can start figuring out how I'm going to organize everything else in my storage locker. I'm just gonna go over all the categories for anyone that would like to maybe do this themselves and they're not sure about what categories to create. I have art supplies, stationery, books. I have electronics and cords. Coat hangers, don't know what I'm gonna do with that. These three boxes are the bathroom supplies, haven't even thought about that. I've got bags, shoes, underwear, and socks. And then over here, I have all of my clothes. This front pile is definitely going into storage. The three at the back, uncertain. I think these ones over here, I'm definitely taking, but I don't really have the brain capacity to deal with this right now. And I think it's gonna be the last thing I'm gonna do. The first thing I'm going to do is create a pile of stuff, probably starting with the shoes, over here in this plain space of all the things that I definitely wanna take with me. I have finished sorting through one category, everything in this box, which this little tub is a drawer divider from Ikea. Everything in here is going back into my storage locker. The few things that I am taking with me include a tripod connector for my phone, a miniature tripod, the charger for the battery of this camera. And then I have a little Ziploc bag here with a few things. There's a couple of memory cards, a lens cap for the camera I'm currently using, and then a little remote to be able to take videos or photos from my phone or my camera. And then this thing here I'm uncertain about, this is actually the base or the tripod to my microphone that I film the voiceovers for my cleaning channel with. And I just hold that microphone. I don't think I really need to take the base with me. I don't think there would ever be a reason for me to have to take it, but I don't know. I'm going to keep it just in case. And then this here is an electronics travel case. Very handy. This is a very large one, but I do take a lot with me. This is the Australian adapter for my laptop in this zip up pocket here, but there's a few dividers and places to keep everything. And it's very, very handy for travel, but that is one area done. So I'm gonna move the things that I'm taking with me to the taking with me pile, which I've started over here, which includes shoes, bags, and some art slash stationary things. I wanted to take a coloring book with me to keep myself occupied. Category number two has been complete. My accessories are all sorted. I have a little mini travel lint roller. I have all of my jewelry in this travel jewelry case. It's from Amazon. It is the 
best thing that I have purchased all year. And then I also have this thing, which is great, but it's also really chunky. It is a five piece sunglasses holder and it just has these two clip buttons and then it folds out and you can hold all of your sunglasses and it's great but it is just a little chunky to travel with. And so I'm a bit undecided on that, but part two is done. Day three of organizing. The reason that this is just taking me such a long time and I'm being so slow with it is because I'm not feeling great. I've been feeling really off the last couple of days or this whole week in general, actually. I am beyond stressed and it's manifesting itself physically and I just, I feel really off. I feel a bit nauseous and I just sometimes feel like I'm gonna throw up and it just, it's a lot and I don't like it and I don't like it when I'm this stressed because I don't like feeling this way and so I just haven't been able to do as much as I want to at the moment and I don't feel like I'm running out of time just yet but I know that everything's approaching and it's approaching pretty quickly and I'm gonna have to get a move on. Hopefully today I can get most of this all done and then in the next couple of days do the last little bit. But right now I am just sorting through my bathroom boxes, which are a lot. I have so much stuff and I don't know how I'm gonna go about organizing all of this and figuring out what's going into storage, what I can just leave here and give to Liz or what I can take with me, but it's a lot, so I'm gonna start with this and then I think I might run some things over to my storage locker and start organizing things over there. But more on the, uh, the you know, stress front of things that are going on, I just, I have a lot to do before I leave and I feel really overwhelmed. I feel really overwhelmed about going home, which I'm looking forward to, but I don't know how long I'm gonna be going home for. I don't know what's happening with my visa. I just don't know. And just, there's just so much uncertainty in like every area of my life right now. And it's just, it's just really, really stressing me out. I don't like feeling like this. And uh, I just, I hope I have some clarity soon and that everything starts to fall into place and everything just starts to make sense and I can just get on with my life. But there is just too much uncertainty and it's making me sick and I'm just hoping that something soon will change and everything will just make more sense and everything will just be picking back up and I'm, I'll be on the right path, if that makes sense. I mean, like overall, I know I'm on the right path, but I just, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just feeling off and I don't wanna feel off and I just want things to start moving forward so that I can stop feeling so off. I feel like I've made even more of a mess for myself. I decided to grab the blanket to sit on because it's actually been really hard on my knees the last couple of days sitting out here on the floor. There are so many bathroom products. I now need to figure out what I'm gonna take with me. And I essentially have these two bags. These are from De Lorenzo, my hairdresser back in Melbourne. He gave me two of these bags a couple of years ago. They are so great. These are just what I use for toiletries. And I usually carry around two of them between my skincare, my body care, my hair care. So I have another one, I think, in the bathroom already, and I have to figure out what I'm gonna take and fit in there. I know I'm definitely taking my contact lenses. That's an absolute must, otherwise I won't be able to see anything. And then I just have to figure out the rest. Actually, you know, I should definitely take a sunscreen maybe. I think a sunscreen is good. I'm definitely gonna take a razor, so that's going into the pile. Outside of that, I don't really know, actually. This is one of my skincare products that I use regularly, so that's gotta go into the pile. But yeah, for everything else, I'm not sure just yet. Mm -hmm. 
I think I'm gonna have to come back to all of the beauty products and whatnot. I do know that there's these few things here that I can take over to my storage locker now. I think what I'm gonna do is pack all of this stuff here that's going back to my storage locker and I will put it in this suitcase and wheel it over there because that's gonna be the easiest way for me to transport everything to the storage locker. I am still uncertain about this bag as to whether I'm taking it with me or not. So I'm gonna throw that over there. But everything here is definitely going into the storage locker. So I might as well just start with it. I made it to my storage locker. It is so hot today. I am really over the hot weather. I am so ready for a change. It'll be nice when I go back to Australia and it's kind of the end of winter. No, I was about to say end of summer. It's end of summer here. End of winter in Australia and it'll be nice and cool and comfortable. And I am so looking forward to it because this is just like, it's so sticky and gross. I need to empty the suitcase that I just brought a whole bunch of stuff over with and then put everything into the correct boxes. I did also bring over two of those extra tubs that I purchased. There's still one over uh, back at the studio, but I will be bringing my clothes over when I finally sort through them in the next couple of days and filling these with those things. And yeah, I guess I just have to unpack this suitcase for now. Okay, I am done with the first load of stuff that took a lot less time than I thought it would. I probably could have filled that suitcase a lot more than what I did, but I just wanted to get some of that stuff I knew I was definitely not taking with me back into storage so that I could feel like I was making some progress. Plus, when I go back to the studio, there'll just be less stuff there and it will just make the whole thing a little bit more visually easier to digest and figure out. So I'm really glad that I did that. Not so happy that I did it on a really hot day, but I guess that's what the rest of this week is gonna be like. And I am so thankful for my past self for labeling the boxes so clearly because I think that's what saved me a lot of time in getting this all done. So I am gonna head back and keep figuring things out. Okay, I'm back. I feel like I made a bit of progress today, but I'm still not feeling great and I just, I need to chill out for a bit. I apologize if I am not very pleasant to be around right now. I am just feeling really flat and defeated. And quite frankly, I am just so over where my life is at. Like I'm not happy with the choices that I've made this year, kind of. I can't go around saying that I regret my choice to pack up my apartment last year and travel because obviously some really, really great things have come out of this year, you know? Like if I didn't come back to Toronto, I wouldn't have fallen for one of my friends and I wouldn't be in a relationship with an incredible man who is one of my friends and my life wouldn't be on the path that it's currently on and I'm exactly where I want to be, but at the same time, I just don't like where I am, and I am being impatient because for the last three months, I have just had to sit around being in limbo, waiting for something to change, and even though I'm going back to Australia, and that's a change, it's still just gonna be more of me waiting around. I am waiting for my visa. I don't know how long that's gonna take. I don't know how long I'm gonna be back in Australia for. I don't know when I can move and have a new space to be able to settle into. I don't know when I'm gonna be back in Toronto to empty my storage locker. And at the end of this week, when I leave Toronto, I am going to go and see my boyfriend again for just over a week, which is gonna be so nice, but that's the last time that I'm gonna see him for a while. And I don't know how long it'll be until I see him again. And it's just gonna be different because even though we've been in a long distance relationship for the last couple of months, it's a lot easier when you still see each other every couple of weeks. Whereas when I go back to Australia, it could be months and it just makes me sad because I'm gonna miss him and I'm gonna miss being able to see him as often as I can see him now and I am not a very patient person. I feel like in the pandemic I had to learn patience because that was a whole year of sitting around in Australia just waiting to be able to move back to Canada. So it's kind of the same thing, but I don't wanna do it again. I 
feel like that was just really, really difficult and I don't want to do it again. And so I'm not happy with where my life is at right now. Kind of. <laughs> it still feels really bad to say that because there's so many good things happening and there's so many good things that are coming. Yeah, with where things are right now, I am just like, ugh. Like I'm not happy and it's there's not really a lot I can do other than sit around and wait and I'm a very proactive person so I like to be able to get up and control my life but I can't really do anything I just have to wait for things to process and to be able to then move forward so it's a big waiting game I'm very uninspired very demotivated and I'm hoping in the next few days I find a little bit of motivation just to get me through the last of this packing and being able to continue on with you know the journey but that's where I'm at and as I said I'm really sorry for subjecting you to the mood that I'm in at the moment because it's not pleasant mood it's not fun mood and it doesn't really feel fair that I feel this way I should be really excited for all the things that are coming and I am do not get me wrong I am so excited I am just so overweighting and I feel like I should have done things a little bit differently this year but if I had of maybe I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in you know what I mean like it's just very it's not a great position to be in where I'm partially regretting my choices but I can't regret my choices because if I didn't make the choices that I made I wouldn't be where I'm going and I want to be where I'm going and it's a very weird in-between place to be and it just is defeating because I'm gonna be stuck in this weird in-between place for a while. And I don't really know what to do about it because there's nothing I can do about it other than just be patient, which I don't want to be. But anyway, I feel like I probably went around in circles a little bit with that. Uh, but that's kind of an update on where I'm at and what's happening. And I just wanna go and lay down, to be honest. Um, I gotta figure out how to de-stress and not be so overwhelmed by this because it's just, it's exhausting me and I'm not gonna be able to get things done in the way that I wanna get them done if I don't get the stress under control. So so he is hoping this afternoon I can maybe like <sighs> figure out something to do so that tomorrow I can get up and I can continue with all of the packing. I still have six full days left until I have to have everything sorted. So I will get it all done. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the start of my organizing and decluttering my life. I don't really know that I'm going to declutter anything. I don't think there's too much I'm getting rid of other than the bathroom stuff where I just went through all the products and threw out things that are either mostly used up, maybe expired, that kind of thing. But for every thing else I think I will probably declutter it when I actually move I know it would make more sense to do it now but I just don't have it in me to do it right now so I'm just really excited for where my life is gonna be in 2024 just have to make it through the rest of this year and next year is gonna be a really really good year and I'm really excited about it but yeah that's the update I am gonna wrap this video up here um, and I will see you sometime soon and hopefully in my next video I am a little more positive a little more optimistic, a little more patient, hopefully. So have a fabulous weekend and I will see you next week.